crap, I'm out of iced tea. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another video. Today, we are going to be reacting to Blind Dating Six Guys by Glow Ups. I assume they will all be quite handsome, but you never know. Will they have really big glow ups? Or will it look like, oh, okay, you just grew out of your awkward stage? They didn't glow up, they grew up. Hold on, guys. That's kind of a bar. Someone write that down. Let's get started. Hi, my name is Srishti. I'm currently a junior at UCLA, majoring in human bio and society. Physically, I think I definitely learned what suits me best as far as like makeup and hair and how to dress. But emotionally, as I came into myself, I kind of learned that I am my own person and I get to have like my own identity. Shoot. Not only she did she, not only did she glow up. Oh my god, I can't talk. You know, video's over, the guys. I can't. I can't do this. Not only did she glow up physically, she glue up mentally. That's a slay, sister. I feel like I'm a little nervous, but good. So excited. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> No, oh. it's a good, it's a good foundation. I feel like they can really work up with these photos. Yeah, no going wrong, okay. I really like all of them. Most of them have glasses, so I feel like they're giving very studious vibes. Okay, first person. He seems really happy, and I kind of did. Bro, I don't know, dude. First of all, he's a ginger. Like a ginger ginger, man. Will he actually be saved? Like, I'm being so for real. Imagine he's the hottest one there. That'd be so dope. That'd be so awesome. That'd be a win for all the gingers. Can you tell me what you're doing in this picture? It's the Rockin' Rapids, I believe. Okay. Um, I was a vacation with my family, so. Okay, guys. Yeah. Person two, you seem so smart and like, put together. So I did like this family photo shoot and okay. then some of my pictures were just myself. <laughs> and that was when I was in like eighth grade. Mm. So I was like 14. So okay. yeah, tragic. Love it. Okay, number three. Oh, wow, okay, I feel like this is like middle school era because I see the lockers in the back. This picture, I'm actually uh, my freshman year of high school, so that was okay. my first day, and in the picture, I have my friend in there, and you know, I was looking pretty rough. Okay, no, 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 10 out of 10, great first day look. Okay, number four, he's not really smiling, so I feel like maybe it's like an off-duty model look that we're going for, but I like it. So this was actually in high school. A funny story about this picture, though, is I don't know if it was edited or not, because I could have sworn <laughs> I saw him make my forehead a little bit bigger. Okay, we'll but, give you that one. But, we'll say but it's edited. That might Don't just worry. be cope. <laughs> <laughs> okay, number five. Okay, very serious. I feel like it's a very off guard picture, but I like it. So, this was kind of like an after class uh, thing with my classmates. Okay. We went to get some pizza, and that mm -hmm. was like a, again, like you said, avant garde picture yeah. or off guard picture. I was not prepared for that at all, and not my brightest moment either. <laughs> no, I but... like it off guard. We like it. <laughs> I really like the last one at the beach. I feel like. That person is very spontaneous and playful. I was having the best time. So uh, <laughs> me and my mom, my sister, went on a vacation here to California. And we actually had this amazing experience where we had like a sandcastle builder come on and teach us how to make an awesome sandcastle. Okay, did you win? Did you like do really Oh, well? I mean, Nailed my sandcastle was the best. That's why I'm so happy you see it. <laughs> yeah. I was living life. There's no one with an accent, so there's no clear winner. I hope the ginger wins. I don't, I forgot his name, but yeah. This guy right here, that, that one doesn't even look that bad. So I'm gonna have you go ahead and eliminate one person. Okay. <laughs> I don't know anything so. about them. They all seem so great. Okay, I think I'm gonna eliminate person one. <laughs> no! <laughs> Give him a shot. I knew it, dude. The moment I saw he was a ginger, I was like, oh, he's gonna get voted out first. I really want him to win, though. At least we get to see what he looks like, so. He's a fan of roller coasters, so just going off of that. But you seem great, so I'm excited to see you. <laughs> Hello! Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. Cassian. Cassian, nice to nice meet you. Cassian, yeah. I really like ah! You look so good, what the heck? He lost the glasses, he ditched the... He ditched the, I don't even know what that haircut is called, dude. It's a crappy haircut. His hair like darkens, so it's less gingery. Hi, uh, contestant number two. What is one attribute that you like about yourself that's not physical? I would say I'm funny. Funny, like, okay, yeah. humor. Tell me a joke, go. Oh. <laughs> I don't have any jokes on hand. Mm. I just say some stuff okay. that is funny, my tone. But mm. everyone says I'm funny, that like my close friends, my family. Okay, I'll give you a pass, don't <laughs> worry. <laughs> Contestant number two. So I know this is like freshman year of high school, you said. What is one piece of advice you would like give yourself in this moment in time? <sighs> one piece of 
One Piece? Oh, during freshman year, I was really like insecure because yeah, I was looking pretty rough, I can't lie. Um, but yeah, just keep going through the phases, let life do its thing, and just enjoy freshman year a little bit more than I did, yeah. Okay. Contestant number three, um, I know you're outdoors here, so would you say you're more like spontaneous and like naturey, or do you think you're the type of person who likes to stay in? I think I'm more of a person who likes to stay in. Okay. Um, in terms of outdoors stuff, the most I would do would be like go on a hike or something. Okay, sounds good. Contestant number five, what is one piece of advice you would give yourself in this moment in time. Well, just live life for yourself. Don't let people tell you things, how you perceive them. This too shall pass and the world is not perfect. So just enjoy yourself, take it slow. Why is he spitting bars? What the heck? I want this guy to win now. He's a poet. I really like the take it slow part. I feel like I tell myself that every single day. Uh, number five, or number six. I know you're at the beach right here, but what is your favorite place or like favorite thing to do in your free time? Oh, favorite thing to do. Um, I'm a homebody to be honest. I like staying in. I like just relaxing, making food. I've taken cooking classes for four years. So I like cooking. Cooking and, classes. Yeah. Okay, what's your go-to meal? Oh, my best meal I can make, I can make like a mean spaghetti carbonara. Ooh, so okay. awesome. I have high expectations for you now. And you're you should, skills. you should. Man who can cook, I can cook. Y'all seen it. I, yeah. <laughs> I don't even know where I was going with that. Okay, so all these guys stole all the good ones, but uh, <laughs> it's fine, we're chilling. Um, at that time in my life, I should have just enjoyed time with my family more because now I've moved away. From, I'm 6,000 miles away from home, uh, so. I think if I could go back, I would just enjoy the company of my sister, my mom a little more, and just because now I took it for granted having them around back then. Okay, I have a follow-up question. How often do you call your mom? Um, I would say I call her about like once a month. Once a month. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> time difference. Ooh. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> time difference is the. Oh yeah. No, no, no. Nine sure. hours. No, no. Hours. I completely believe you. Don't worry. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna have you on me. Two, okay. <laughs> so the first person I'm eliminating is contestant number four. And it's because he said he doesn't like to go hiking, but I'm a huge outdoor person because of that reason, I think. Honestly, none of them is really standing out to me besides the ginger guy <laughs> and the and the poet guy. Let's see what this guy looks like. That's why he's gonna be eliminated. <laughs> Hi, it's so nice to, nice meet, to meet you. you. Oh my I'm god, going. your fit is so good. Thank you, I appreciate it. I Go like on. your fit too, Thank yeah. Bro is gorgeous. It's nice, meeting nice you. to meet you. Thank you. Okay. Um, the second person I'm gonna eliminate is probably contestant number six. Even though I love talking to you, I am just not a homebody. Dang. It's not because she's not a homebody. It's because it's because he doesn't call his mom. Me, <laughs> I'm very like extroverted and I love doing things outside. And I know you're kind of like more of a relaxed person. Let's go. Hi, Hi nice, nice to, to meet, meet you, you. Max. Max. Yeah. Okay, oh, what nice the? F now that's a glow up, bro. Looks like a completely different person. He kind of looks like Dree. <laughs> I love talking to you. Thank you. I appreciate it. I love talking to you, too. <laughs> Thank you. I got to call my mom some more. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, it was the one that. month thing, definitely. It wasn't the whole for me, thing. Huh? Yeah. Hey, good luck. Thank you. She was regretting that decision. Everyone has had to glow up, okay? Um. So, contestant number two, what is the biggest thing that you look for in a relationship or a partner? Their personality, because I'm very like satire. My humor is like very satire, very like, I make a lot of jokes, so they have to have the same kind of energy as me. Okay, like being witty. Yeah, yeah, being yeah, witty. Yeah, being able to handle the heat. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, okay. What do you love most about like hiking and like going outside? To give you a little bit of contact, for a really long time I was like, no, I hate being outdoors. However, this summer I was in Hawaii and there was this one really, really, really hard hike and all of my friends bailed. And they were like, oh, actually, I think I'm gonna sleep in. So I did the hike by myself, but I think that's like one of the moments I felt most proud of myself because I realized it's like a mental game, right? Like you uh. are in constant battle with yourself. Like, hey, should I just go back? Should I quit right now? Should I keep going? Mm -hmm. And I think that's something that I really admire about it. And now it's like learning a bit more about myself every single time I go on a hike. Mm -hmm. Your friends are so fake for that. I know, yeah, so should like, I drop I them? Mean, oh. I, that Dude, I love this girl's vibe. This girl, this girl is awesome. What is her name? That's what I would do. Contestant number three. Why did your last relationship end? Damn. Did I hit a nerve? Uh, my last relationship ended because uh, she cheated on me. So oh no! This this glow of.
Dang. What if he walks out and he's like completely ripped? He's like Arnold Schwartzy type ripped. Kind of look like siblings right here. <laughs> siblings are dating. Should I make a video about that? I suck at telling if people are dating or not. What's one red flag about you? About me? Okay. Oh, I'm going to expose myself right now. I'm super duper like hyper independent because I'm super like career oriented. And I think because of that, oftentimes in a relationship, if the guy starts getting a little bit too clingy, I will automatically shut down and like block them off. Yeah. All right. Okay. okay. <laughs> Contestant number. Bro was not feeling that answer. That's a, that's like a major red flag. Number five. What is one time you've been deeply hurt and how did you learn from that lesson? Oof. Uh, most likely my uh, previous relationship because it was almost uncalled for. Uh, but I did learn that you can't let one person who is in your life for such a long time really drag you down, whether they're in it or not. Mm -hmm. So I kind of started going towards a creative outlet and now I make music, I do videography, I do basically a little bit of everything to expand my horizon a little bit. How important is family to you? I, I, I This guy's like a 10 out of 10. Why is this guy so, so eloquent with his words? Every time he speaks, it's just a quote. I really hope this guy wins, but I think it's gonna, I think it's gonna be number two. They, they seem like they were vibing a lot. Like a lot, a lot. Kid you not. I FaceTime my parents like five times a day, but like God. for two minutes, like I'll be like, oh, I'm doing this, I'm doing that. So just like giving them updates and like making sure like they know where I'm at. Mm. Yeah. All right, that's good. <laughs> One more question. What are your red flags in relationships? All of you. Okay, well mine, I mean, it's obviously like, <clears throat> cheating uh, and then the second one i think it's just like how they act towards their own family that's what they're probably going to do to you okay. uh red flag would probably be respect so like if they don't respect their parents or maybe their friends they're a little bit rude you know that's going to bleed into a little bit of everything in their life and uh you know i don't really want to be a product of that mm -hmm. for me personally it's emotional immaturity because if we're all adults right now so it would be really nice to be with a person who has their stuff in check you know because we're all busy we have school we have work it would be nice to you know be able to balance all that out with a healthy relationship This guy gives the most detailed, thought-out answers in the world. I would just, I just want to meet this guy and talk to him and just like pick his brain because he seems so full of wisdom. Y'all understand? Okay. Um, the first person I'm gonna eliminate is contestant number three, <laughs> and I think it's because um, after I gave my red flag, I realized like you didn't have the best response. Yeah. All right. Okay. okay. <laughs> I think we might not be. Yeah, come on now. I literally said that. What if he's actually so, what if he's actually masked? What if he's ripped? Dude, I really hope he's ripped. If he's not ripped, what a disappointment. Nah, I'm joking, I'm joking. But our guy's still in it. Eloquent man, wisdom man, wisdom, wisdom warrior still in it. Hi. Hey. Oh my God, it's so nice to nice meet, to meet you. you. What's your name? Victor. Victor, nice to meet you, Did Victor. You like my no, such a glow up. <laughs> <laughs> I would have never like put two and two together. Yeah. yeah, it was so nice talking to you. You too. You have a lot of good people behind. Thank you. I mean, I was expecting like Sam Silic type build. <sighs> and everyone could be Arnold Schwartzy. Um. Okay, the person I'm gonna eliminate is contestant number five. Um, I really like talking to you. I'm done. Why? He was so... I hope he finds true love and happiness. At least we get to see what he finally looks like. You, Especially about, like, being super close to your family. But for me, um, I think my family life just operates very differently. Hi, how's it going? It's so nice to nice meet you. I really like your outfit. Thank you, yeah. I like, like, the... He has such a nice smile and an eye... <laughs> I'm actually, I'm actually, like, upset. Contestant number two, we're gonna have you walk around and come say hi. Hi! Hi, it's so, it's nice, so nice to, to meet you. Meet you. Pretty here. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Does that look like me? What the heck? What? what? He's, yeah, he's, he has a... He was actually the last person I expected to have an afro. Him. I feel like as far as personality goes, we're kind of like the same person from like humor and things that we like to do. So I'm really excited to get to know him more. I feel like I'm still this same person inside, but just the appearance is different. To me, a glow up is just like being more confident. Yeah. Oh. 
Oh my god. Do I look the same? No. No? no Completely no, no, no. different person. You, it looks like you like did a skincare routine. Oh like, yeah. Over, no, no, no. Really? Yeah. Like, yeah, 100%. your skin looks flawless. Thank yeah. you. Could you tell I'm kind of upset that both of my picks didn't win? <laughs> I hope y'all like this video. Like, subscribe, comment, do all that jazz. But most importantly, have a great day. That's a wrap.